Wearing a mask while traveling is now optional most of the time. A federal judge in Florida struck down the Biden administration's public transportation mask mandate. That decision freed airlines, airports, and mass transit systems to make their own decisions about mask requirements. The major airlines switched to a mask optional policy immediately. The TSA also said it would no longer enforce the mask requirement. However, local governments and travel organizations can still enforce their own regulations. Multiple explosions targeting a school and another educational testing center in Kabul have injured at least seven children. Afghan officials fear that number could rise or there could be casualties. So far, no one has claimed responsibility, but the area has been targeted in the past by Afghanistan's deadly Islamic State affiliate. Russian forces have attacked along a broad front in eastern Ukraine as part of a full-scale ground offensive to take control of the country's eastern industrial heartland. Ukrainian officials say the Russian forces are focusing on taking full control of the Donbas region in this new phase of the war. A U.S. defense official estimates Russia has recently added 11,000 fresh troops to its forces already in Ukraine. Police in South Carolina have made a second arrest in the weekend mall shooting in Columbia. The 20-year-old man is facing multiple charges, including attempted murder. 15 people were injured, including nine who were shot. The first suspect arrested is now facing charges, including attempted murder. An arrest warrant out for a third suspect. Police think the shooting stemmed from an ongoing dispute between the suspects. The Department of Justice will not seek federal charges against former Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke in the death of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald. The U.S. attorney said that was primarily because the bar for federal convictions is higher than state. Van Dyke was sentenced to nearly seven years in prison in 2019, but was released in February for good behavior. Engineers say a Florida amusement park improperly altered a ride to make it unsafe, leading to the death of a 14-year-old boy. That's according to an independent engineering report. It showed the ride's manufacturer had a safety mechanism in place to stop operation if sensors detect a gap more than three inches between a rider and safety harness. But officials say the operator's adjustment to alter that feature contributed to creating a gap large enough for Samson to fall through. The report also notes other factors may have also contributed to the teen's death. Today marks 27 years since the Oklahoma City bombing that killed 168 people, including children, and injured several hundred more. The two men convicted of carrying out the attack were former U.S. Army soldiers. One was executed by lethal injection in 2001. The other is serving life in prison without parole. The number of migrants attempting to cross the U.S.-Mexico border has surged in recent weeks as the country prepares for even larger numbers with the end of Title 42. Immigration authorities stopped migrants over 221,000 times along the southwest border in March, a 34 percent increase from the month earlier and the highest in nearly two decades. The Colorado River is now one of the most endangered rivers in the U.S. That's according to one conservation group. They cite climate change and outdated water management practices as contributing factors. According to the group, the Colorado River's flow could be reduced by 10 to 30 percent by the year 2050. The Colorado River is a major water and electrical source to more than 40 million people in the West, including Texas. And that's today's 9 at 9.